Okay, that's still dark. I'm trying to find a way to record this video because I just woke up a few hours ago and got my daughter. Well, she gets ready on her own for school because she's 13. But I was with her this morning because I didn't have to work. But I have not done anything to myself and I need to soon. But I want to talk about a little about the uh, Chris Watts case. Like I said, the kitchen's the best place. But I haven't done anything to myself, so I feel like I look like, ugh. But I was, as I was, was talking about, this is my scar from my skin cancer. And Shanann Watts, if you're familiar with that case, she has a scar from thyroid. So I actually had gotten that in September. And of 2018 and as you know if you know about the case it happened uh, August 13 to um, 2018 so I started getting into the case well recently I have been listening and watching a few things because I've had a little more time and I'm on here today because I have time I don't go back to work until Monday when or Wednesday Thursday Friday and Saturday I work this week and next week's Monday Tuesday Thursday Friday Saturday so I'm trying to come on here when I can. I do have some wine that to sample in a video if you're interested in those. But other than that, I'm kind of busy with just everything and certain things going on and certain things that I haven't even addressed on here. But to get back to what made me want to get on here today about a video was I've been watching a couple of videos recently because they've been in my suggestions about the Chris Watts case. And how the mistress, N.K., Nicole Pissinger, I believe, had her name changed recently. And that Chris Watts is trying to appeal the case, which is craziness. Some people think it's because he wants to talk about an accomplice. I had an epiphany, though. I was sitting there, and there's so many things I actually want to talk about. Not that I really want to talk about it right now, because I'm not even... I haven't done anything to myself and I just basically woke up and I have my hair needs washed and I feel like, ugh. But, I am seriously convinced that the mistress was involved. I even think that she may have killed everyone. The kids and Shanann. I'm still convinced that the kids were killed at how, at the house because that's another thing. I saw some videos about the house not selling and people thought it was haunted and a lot of people were talking about, well, a traumatic um, murder happened there and, you know, and people don't want to move there and, of course, they're going to have a hard time selling it. And then some people were like, well, they didn't get killed there. Well, Shanann got killed there and I definitely believe the girls got killed there. It only makes sense when you really actually sit and think about it. He told the mistress, or the mistress talked about to the investigators, because there's a lot involved in all this case. A lot more than we even know. But she told them that Chris said the sheets were stinky and he was cleaning them. And then the neighbors saw him grilling chicken. And the girls were nowhere to be seen or heard. So, I think he killed them then, because it would have been easier, or, sh or the mistress did, because it would have been easier for them, or him, whatever, both, to ambush Shanann when she got home and have the children out of the way. Why he ended up saying that they came back to life and he killed them at the oil site, at the job, the only thing I can think of is why he said that and would do that is because it would further implicate someone being there it would make them investigate the house which they never really did which a lot of people are convinced that NK stayed behind and cleaned up the house they had time to do that to some extent they did not have time to go through with their entire plan which a lot of people think was to blow up the um, oil rig where they worked at because it had happened prior in 2016, 2017 and they had went to a meeting about that. 
which sounds like something they would do because her looking up, the mistress looking up uh, wedding dresses prior and uh, child support for three children implicates that, of course, this was to do with money. And I think that they, they are still investigating her, I believe. They don't have enough to actually, act for a hard case, to try her with a jury. Even though we do know of a lot of things that are very strange, such as deleted messages, phones pinging by there, the method, the phone conversation that was like 90 minutes with Chris before all of it, the eerie pictures, like symbolic pictures of flowers at the oil site, the song... Kill the family of Metallica, which it says I, which it says cannot kill the family. I think it's because Chris did not kill the family. Of course, he went along with it and knew about it, and was there. Maybe he did, but I'm thinking most likely that she did it because she was mad. They were seeing each other longer than they said. There's no way it was just six weeks. What the six weeks entitled and what that brought about was that they were finally around each other without the kids or Shanann around at all. So they didn't really have to hide it. I'm sure she was in and out of that house, especially in the back. There was no cameras in the back. There was no houses finished at that time in the back. So for him to be loading everything up front and mainly it was gas tanks, and some people think it was the bodies. Doesn't really make sense because he knew about that camera, because he's the one that told us at that interview on the porch about that camera and about the supposed break-in into his truck, because I think that they were going to either say that Shanann left with the girls, or someone got them in the back, or they were just saying that because they wanted to take off the emphasis of the backyard. But if you look into all that, you will see that I am pretty much correct on all that about the backyard. There was not houses finished at the time. There was no one back there at the time. There was some little step stool, even though the fence wasn't even very big to go over. The basement window was open. They were having trouble with the vivid alarm. Shanann could not see because Chris probably disabled it. I mean, there's a lot of things that seem circumstantial, and maybe that's why they're trying to get it all hard at core evidence built up. Maybe Chris will finally talk, but now are people going to think he's talking just because he wants to get off this? And my heart of hearts, and I don't want to mean no disrespect to the family, I'm not on here to make money. I barely have subscribers. I don't get on here all the time. I don't know how to use this all the way. I have many ideas. I have two to four jobs at times. I'm about to have holiday break and be off more and be home more. We've all went through a COVID thing. I went through this cancer thing and I still need four more biopsies. I went through this thing with my parents that I have not even fully explained on here. There is some videos explaining, but I have not even been able to bring myself to that. There's been a lot going on. I do not mean no disrespect to the family at all, but it does seem weird with all the paranormal activity surrounding that house. And I know it was because of something traumatic happened there and it's hard for some spirits to go. But what if, just what if, it's because this case is not done. It's far from done. It's more horrific than what Chris has already told through two, three different stories. Why did he say in the interrogation video, she wasn't supposed to be there? Who's, she wasn't supposed to be there? Why does he always say we about shovels? Yeah, some people are saying it's the job and the coworker. But he says we a lot. Um, a dark force. He would not have done this if N.K. would not have came into his life. That's what he said. Something strange. Justice needs to be done. 
so these precious souls can go where they belong as angels in heaven. And this evil, wicked, messed up person, and I don't know if it's because it happened to her family and her mother and father when she was younger and it messed her up, but we know she was looking at Shanann's Facebook in 2017. And we know damned well they weren't just seeing each other six weeks. They liked that they had that six weeks together by themselves. They wanted to be together, at least mainly her. And she got mad when she found out Shanann was pregnant because the whole time Chris was saying they were going to be splitting up and that they weren't having sex. But lo and behold, they were. Justice needs to be done. Justice needs to be served. 